period. Well, Chris, here's a video. How you doing, folks? Um, we're here again. You can see the Tamoba harvester coming up in the background. We're harvesting Brussels sprouts again, second evening at it. Um, I suppose we got such a reaction, a good reaction from people for the first video I did of how Brussels sprouts were grown and everything else. Um, <laughs> I decided I'd do a kind of a second video. You know, um, Paddy Hannafin is the man. He's the man here that owns all this. Um, for those of you that haven't seen the first video, you should see it. I leave a link in the in the, the very end of the video. You can go into it and watch it. Um, I suppose Paddy Hennepin is Baltic Garden Farms here in County Kerry in North Kerry, back towards Phoenix. And um, they grow all sorts of vegetables. They grow cabbage, Brussels sprouts, um, spuds, broccoli, cauliflower, everything. And um, all for markets all over Ireland for super value and so on and Musgraves and Sintras and all this kind of stuff all over Ireland. And um, leading into Christmas, I think it's around the 18th of December and um, I suppose they're getting into Brussels sprouts harvesting here at the moment. Um, we're going to swing around the camera and give a look at the Brussels sprouts and the way they're grown for, for people that didn't see the first video. Here we go guys, this is the way they're grown, okay, um, it's just a stalk like that, and if you can see here, that's your Brussels sprouts. Um, it's cut down very low to the ground by the harvester, and it is um, taken to the harvester, the, harvest, the average harvester would harvest about 25 tonnes in the day. Um, that's something we, as the Irish, will consume like 11 million I uh, know Solomon was saying 70 million Brussels sprouts in the in the Christmas period we need an average of 11 Brussels sprouts each um, the boys are here the boys are harvesting away you can see that in the harvester in some of the first video we get in here again they grow like that um, apparently Brussels sprouts originated in Brussels believe it or not in somewhere in and around the 13th century. I just looked them up there this morning. They're actually related to the cabbage. They're a, a very, very close first cousin to the cabbage plant. Um, they're, and how, I looked it up as well, how do they become associated with Christmas Day dinner? Um, I presume all over the world, but they're definitely a big thing in Ireland for Christmas Day dinner. And apparently the... The thing is, they are from, they were just a kind of a winter vegetable. And they grew them in Brussels, and then the French started growing them, and then they just, they took off all over the world. Um, a lot of people don't like them. I'm not a major fan of them myself. Um, if you boil them, fry them, and put them in with a bit of, a few rashers or a bit of bacon, that's the way I eat them. They're nice that way. But, um, a lot of people don't like it, that's fine too. So, we have coming down here, as you can see, the harvester. It's a Tomoba harvester. To the best of my knowledge and what I could find out about it, they're built in the Netherlands. And um, Tomoba do all sorts of, of root vegetable harvesters. They do all sorts of leaf vegetable harvesters. Like for example, when I looked them up there this morning, the first thing that came up was they make a harvester for harvesting spinach leaves. Um, this is tr a three person job, and they actually take the, they, there's, there's three blades. The blades cut the, the sprouts very, very close down to the ground. And then they, um, the three men inside have to feed it back through a cleaner and the cleaner cleans off the leaves cleans off the sprouts and uh, it dumps out the rubbish on the ground there as you can see and um, it goes from there and it goes back then into a, so we could call it a substation or a transfer station and um, they're cleaned from there and um, they're packaged and Belty Garden Farms supplies most graves um, to super value um, Sintra and all them other shops and he supplies, I think he supplies Lidl and Aldi's as well 
So if you're buying Brussels sprouts in Ireland, there's a very, very strong possibility that they come out of one of these fields or one of these two harvesters, these two Tomova harvesters. Hi guys, how are you doing? We're here. I suppose you could call it the bagging or the, the processing side of Baltigarn Farms, Body Hennepin. Um, you can see here that the team I'm in here this evening getting your Brussels sprouts ready for Christmas. Um, you can see there there's um, the grader, I suppose we're going to call it, for grading out the Brussels sprouts. There's so three different variations and sizes. Um, it's coming along here then into these crates and um, it's moved on in again as they're all sorted, they're all hand picked, they're all gone through I suppose, all hand graded and up here then into the bagger system and from that then down into the bags where they're, um, where they're sorted, put into net bags here this evening. Uh, I was here a couple of evenings ago and they were putting them into crates. So they're putting them into net bags this evening. And um, there's two different baggers here, you'll see them both there in action. And um, that's it. This is how your Brussels sprouts come from, from your uh, Christmas Day dinner. So you're enjoying your Brussels sprouts on the 25th. Um, I hope you think of these lads here working late at night. Um, to get the crop in and to get the harvest done and um, yeah so that's it of course Belchigan farms also do broccoli and spuds and everything else so hopefully we might get to do a few more videos with them um, during the year and uh, all going well all right guys give a like give a subscribe and uh, this is the rest of the drone footage um, from I suppose the, the plant where your Brussels sprouts are coming from for Christmas Day dinner. Okay guys, all right. Enjoy the rest of it, thank you. Alright guys, we're here inside in the freezer. And you can see all the crates there um, are absolutely full of packages of Brussels sprouts. All the, the trolleys are full. This whole freezer will be full in the next couple of days and they'll be all distributed throughout probably Munster and a lot of Ireland um, to different shops and supermarkets for you to buy for your Christmas Day dinner. So this is how it's done, this is how it's packaged, this is how they're harvested. Thanks again to Paddy and the team behind us, um, Paddy Hennepin and Balti Garden Farms. Um, so hopefully, like I said, we'll get a, we might do a few more videos with them during the winter. They do winter broccoli and winter cauliflower and all this kind of stuff. So here's hoping that we, 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 we'll get to go there again and who knows, we might make a few more videos. and. Um, like I said earlier on, give a like, give a subscribe, and um, 
yeah, enjoy it, and um, we don't know, we'll get there together, and uh, I don't know. So look, that's the plan. All right, guys, thanks very much for your continued support. Period. Well, great. Here's a video.